How to install and configure DHCP in Windows Server 2008? DHCP is the short form of Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol which is used to assign IP addresses to host from a pool of addresses. DHCP servers can also provide the host with configurations like DNS and Gateway. This will allow the administrator to provide IP addresses to host and will also reduce the problems with IP conflicts in your network. In Windows Server 2008, the DHCP is included as a feature and can be installed from the server manager. This is a typical scenario which contains a DHCP server and some clients and when a client machine starts up in this network, it gets the IP address from the DHCP server by following a process called DORA. The process goes like this. When the computer starts up, it will send a broadcast to the network seeking for any DHCP server and the server will reply to this broadcast. Here the discover process completes. After this, the server will offer an IP address to the client machine. If we have more than one DHCP server in our network, then the client will get more than one offers. Now the client will request the first IP address that it receives and the server that received this request will assign the IP to the client and will acknowledge this in the network. This is the process through which a client acquires an IP address from the DHCP server and we can now go on to a Windows Server 2008 machine and install and configure a DHCP server on it. To install and configure a DHCP server in 2008 machine, we have to open up the server manager first because the DHCP server comes as a role in Windows Server 2008. So first we have to install the role. I will click on roles and click on add roles. We'll click on next and select the DHCP server and click on next and when I hit next it will ask me the network connection which I want to use for this DHCP server I will leave the default settings because this is this is the only network connection that I have that is connected to the network you, if you have more than one network connections in your computer you can select from those and now you can click on next here I will have to enter the domain name of my uh, network if I have a domain name I can it, uh, set it here but I will not give anything give any configuration here because I don't have a domain installed on this network so I will click on next and if you need to give the wins IP address to the clients using the DHCP server you can select that the wins is required and you can give the wins IP address I'm also not giving this configuration. You can click on next. Now I can add the DHCP scope here. I can give a name to the scope. And I can give the starting IP address of the scope from here. This is the range of the IP addresses that this server will offer to the client machines that is requesting for a DHCP allocation. You can give this subnet mask also. Default gateway. All these default gateway subnet mask DNS server IP address and everything will be given to the clients who get IP address through this DHCP service and here we can select this whether this is a wired or wireless network and the difference is that there is something called a lease period which is the actual amount of time that this IP address will be assigned to, uh, to the client machines after the, this the, D, uh, the DORA process will once again uh, run and uh, the clients may change their IP address. From here we can select whether we want a 6 day duration for the DORA process or if we want a 8 days duration for the IP addresses which are assigned to the computers. 
I can check the activate this cop and click on OK and this cop is there it is created and click on next we will not configure the DHCP version 6 so I am leaving it as default so I have to disable it I will disable it and click on next click on install and this is all that we have to do for the installation and configuration of DHCP server this installation will take a couple of minutes and let me pause the video and I will be back after this completes the installation has succeeded and I can close out of this window can also close out, the, out of this server manager and click on start administrative tools and I can click on DHCP to get the DHCP console and manage it if I expand the server and IP version 4 I can see the scope the address pool the address leases that I have already given in the network the reservation the scope options and everything so we'll go on to the detailed configuration of DHCP server in another video so this is how we create a DHCP server with minimum configurations any client which is configured to obtain IP address automatically from the network will obtain its IP from this pool in this network so I hope this was informative for you thank you for watching